Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog. Today we're going to pull some more meals from this big bag. Now, there's still a lot of meals in here and this is not the only bag. This is just the bag that I'm nearly finished opening. Before I actually start opening the meal um, for today, I want to show you a couple of clips because I still have so much meal to open uh, I thought I would lay them all out on my table in different clips so that if you are still waiting for my meal to reach to you, you can look at these clips, see at all of the meal that I have currently received and see if your meal has made its way to me. So here are the clips. Then, second thing I'm going to tell you before opening anything is, of course, that my PO box is still closed. I think what I will do is I will open it in 2021. I don't know yet when, but first I want to give myself some time to open all of the ones that I already have. And I also want to give myself some time to organize my room. And especially organize all of the goodies that have been sent my way because currently they are just piling up, which is very bad. Um, and I need some time to figure all of that out, figure out how I'm gonna do that. So I don't yet have a definitive date for when my PO box will open again. But for those of you who are wondering, uh, my PO box is still closed. These are just meals that I've picked up in the last few months. Now let me open this one. I've not opened it yet. I don't want to flip it around because then you can see the return address. Let me just try and open this off camera. Okay, there we go. It's a large envelope. Beautiful paper also. And it's wrapped with this uh, stuff ribbon that says homemade. And there's also a cute little dangly key up here. I think the light might be a little bit too bright. Is it too bright? It's not nighttime, it's actually daytime, but it's so dark uh, out that I need the light. <laughs> and if I sound a little bit confused or slow, that's actually because I have not been doing so well. I'm not ill, I'm just extremely tired. And when I say extremely, I mean extremely so i'm gonna try and get a doctor's appointment for a blood test because something is definitely wrong i just don't know what it is i'm even more tired than i usually am and i am team always tired so that says something for me to be even more tired than normal so if i sound different it's not because i don't enjoy myself it's not because i don't like the goodies it's just my current state is my current my whole being is just slow <laughs> these days so I've unwrapped this. I'm definitely gonna reuse that little key and of course some of this homemade. Um, I keep saying homemade. That's because it says homemade, not because the ribbon is homemade. Maybe I should clarify. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be reusing that. And then when we open it, ooh. Oh, it's actually one of those. I never know what to call these. I think I made one once and then I called it an exploding envelope, but you could also call it a flip open envelope. So that's quite clever. She used the clear bag as an envelope and then she used the actual envelope. I'm saying envelope too often. She used the actual envelope, ooh, as um, the mail. <gasps> ooh, this is her note. Okay. Why Vivian? Yeah. She says, I don't know if I wrote your name uh, right, but you did. Wrote me a really, really nice card. Her message is on this card, so I'm not gonna flip it over. And then, oh my gosh, it's filled with little things. Of course, this has been in my craft room for a little bit, so I hope everything is still intact. But first of all, we have these pretty little sticky notes up here. 
I'm using my new camera today. Ooh, exciting. And then, oh, this is gorgeous. This is actual vintage book pages. Look at that. How can I choose which side to use? Uh, I like both of them. Oh, it's actually, ha 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 ha. It's actually not even two sides. There's more. So it's like little book pages. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love the poppies. I love the poppies. Pretty. That's a pr really pretty book. Then cut apart. And then some papers. Six by six papers. Oh, like vintage botanical. A little bit tropical even. Oh, that one's nice. So all of these. Really nice. And then we have some larger sticky nerds. That is pretty. These are all from the same set. I've got these. Oh, that's so pretty. That's really pretty. I've never seen sticky notes that large. And then the background is this vellum page that says shine bright. I just realized I, I think I have one of those paper pads somewhere. Completely forgot to use that. Then we have some more goodies in these pockets. Oh, some gorgeous washi tape stickers. Can never go wrong with washi tape stickers. And while you are looking at me try and peel all of these stickers out, tell me, please, <laughs> um, how is the sound for you? How is the video quality? How is everything looking? It's nice because I can see what I'm filming so I can hold up these goodies and see that they are in focus, which is great. Now they are too close, I can see that too. So that's definitely a big plus for me, but I of course also want to know from you, is this camera an improvement or did you prefer the previous camera? And the sound, how is the sound? Just give me a rundown of your thoughts. <laughs> I really do appreciate them. Of course, I will also notice all of this when I'm editing this video, but it's, I, it's good to know how you guys feel about that too. Oh, then in the back here, we have some beautiful vintage goodies. Oh, it's two different envelopes. These are little stamps. And first of all, look at that top one. It's a beautiful rose, absolutely gorgeous. And then some, uh, would you call this a cigar, cigar band? It's like a, the wrapping of a cigar. I've never actually looked at one of these before, but they have like some gold foiling. Okay, that's the only, I need to learn how to work with this. Real nice. So I could use that for decorating or as a goodies, of course. She also wrote in the postcard, she said, anything you don't like, just feel free to pass it on, <laughs> which I always do that. I remember someone uh, once left an angry comment um, that she thought it was weird that I was so open about re-gifting. She said, it's so rude. People send you gifts and you talk about re-gifting them. That's not what this is. It's not re-gifting, it's literally sharing because uh, you get goodies from your pen pals and then you think, oh, this is nice for pen pal, another pen pal. And then you just share them with them. It's not that you're re-gifting them, you're literally just exchanging goodies um, and of course using some, but also exchanging. And I think that is totally normal and it's not, you shouldn't be insulted by that at all. Next included is these this large washi tape sample, which looks like it has some Japanese lanterns on here. And then these, we've got a botani botanical one and a succulent one, which I always like. And then these, oh, this one I actually have myself, so I might just cut that off and send that along to a pen pal, but the bottom one has little cacti on it, which is adorable. So thank you so much for this lovely, wait, let me check your name. Where did I put the postcard? Let me check your name. I completely forgot to say your name. Your name is Manila. Thank you so much for this lovely meal, Manila. Really like this concept of a flip open envelope. Please, someone give me a better name for this. I'm not gonna call it a flip open envelope. What should we call it? Let me know. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back with the next meal. Then, let me zoom in a bit. Then I have these three envelopes to open. I already just quickly cut them open, but I have not really looked at the content yet. This first envelope is from Maria. I just covered up her return address here and she sent me some cute goodies, including a tag, die cut, sticker, a decorator tag. Well, 
I'm out of, sorry, I keep, I have to get used to this new camera. So I'm really fun Halloween fall themed stickers. Sticky notes. <laughs> I can show you everything up close. This is so nice. This gorgeous silver foiled tulip card, which I quite like. And then I will just put this on top and show you up close. I, have, I need more hands. These hedgehog sticky notes and these black and white uh, die cuts. So really, really nice. I cannot wait to read. I just realized. I just realized. I said I wanted to say I cannot wait to read to read your letter, but there is actually no letter in here. But I think what she did, I know that she sent me a meal before. I think what she did is she just sent the letter in one of the envelopes and then the goodies in the other. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Mm. The next one is this cute little envelope. I'm sorry for the ugly Poussinelle sticker, but if I tear it off. Oh, actually this one comes off quite okay. That's better. This beautiful little envelope from Dal Dalila. Am I pronouncing it right this time? Uh, Dalila. Really nice. And inside, first of all, I'm not gonna show you the letter because that is private, but I think I can show you like this so that you cannot actually read it. But she wrapped her letter with some sort of tissue paper and it, even the letter is beautifully decorated. I hope you can see that a little bit through the tissue paper. No, you can't, but that's okay. I will get to enjoy it. And she has hand lettered my name really beautifully. And then of course there's a nice washi sample in there as well. And then there's this pretty envelope, which is gonna be reused. I need, I keep doing this or this. I need to learn how to put it. See, I did it again. But he's upside down. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be reused and it says goodies. Goodies. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there's some really pretty things in here. We've got some stickers. These are, or maybe not stickers, but little cards. And these are absolutely gorgeous. It's not focusing, is it? Hello. Beautiful. Oh. I'm just making sounds at this point. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's like see-through vellum. I don't know if that's printed or hand stamped, but wow, these are pretty. This is not gonna focus. Oh God, maybe if I do it like this. No, it's not focusing. Ah, there we go. Pretty. And then this little floral element, these little craft paper, and we've got some stamps. Stampy stamps. It says if, if your neighbor can use these, he's gonna be very pleased. And then this looks like some craft paper sticky notes with grid, and I love grid. Ooh, almost missed the most important thing. Is this a poppy? That is definitely a poppy. That's absolutely gorgeous. That's looking like some poppy leaves. Of course, my camera, the lighting reflects on it. Wait, wrong, wrong button. Now it's completely dark. That was not my most bright moment. See, this is how dark it is. If I wouldn't have had the lights, this is the situation we're dealing with. But beautiful poppy leaves. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much for that. I cannot wait to read your letter. Oh, here's another die cut. That fell. Cannot wait to read your letter. And hopefully I can reply to you one day, of course, because even though my PO box is closed, I am still trying to make as many letters as I possibly can. I'm just trying to take it slow a little bit because of my current situation, which is not so great. Uh, not mentally speaking, but just my fatigue is really insane. Oh. But if I can, hey, I'm gonna try and reply to as many of you many of you as I possibly can. See, I cannot even speak anymore. This next envelope is from Abigail. A little, little, little Abigail. It's a simple envelope because inside of it was another beautifully decorated envelope. Sadly, it was returned to her because she missed one tiny, tiny, tiny part of my address, which is the uh, number, the street number. <laughs> 
so it was returned to her sadly but this is the beautiful envelope that her letter was sent in and this ugly thing here is the sticker that the mail office slapped on top of it i tried to remove that and then this is what happened so this is what her actual mail was in and she sent me some postcards and this one sorry for the light as i said I, there's nothing i can do right now then we have this simba postcard really cool the lion king this one rising sun and then uh this is her letter i will just cover that up but she also sent me this which is really cool it's like a i will show you a little bit it's a stamp a stamp shaped address label oh it's really big and really really cool really cool so i'm going to be using that for address labels the only thing is the Dutch mail system, I don't know if they understand if I put my own address at the top and then the sender address at the bottom, the receiver address at the bottom. I don't know if they will understand, but you know, I can always try it. So thank you so much ladies for all of these lovely mails. I'm just gonna clean this up and we'll continue to number five. Next up is this colorful envelope from Jane. When I was taking a picture before the um, the camera actually tried to autofocus on the face of this stamp and also how gorgeous is that bee stamp once again. My camera thought this was an actual person, it probably is, but it's a stamp. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, I completely forgot. I already opened this and I tried to leave everything intact, but I've been thinking about this ever since I saw it. She sent me, Jane sent me, a package of instant hot chocolate. It says just add water, but I always add either nut milk or a regular milk because that just tastes a lot better. And I cannot wait to try this. I'm gonna put that aside. And then inside, like I said, I already did open this, but I try not to look at too much. I usually just try to find a letter um, because sometimes I just want real letter, but look at this. It says espresso yourself. And then it opens like this. Oh, I think this one fell off somewhere. Where did this one come from? I don't remember, but it's an embellished tag. And then we have these little flaps. That's kind of a fun idea for a flip book. And then this is actually an envelope as well. I am also, Jane, definitely going to reuse these gorgeous botanical images i don't know what else to call them and inside we have a ring or a deer i would shouldn't say reindeer because it has flowers in it it's uh antlers and then a shimmery star which could actually be nice for christmas crafting but i have to admit i don't think i'm gonna do any christmas crafting so i think i'll just put this in a stash or give it to someone who will do Christmas crafting. And then also included is a bunch of papers for me to use. I think I'll just die cut these. I think I'll just die cut these because I am a paper hoarder and I need to learn to actually use some of them. And then on the back it says, so far, so good. I don't know what these cards are, but I like them, Jane. And then she made another one of these flip books. I think these are also cards, but color in cards. And then it's actually, a, um, how would you say this? A, a regular book type flip book. And what I mean is that this one flips up and this one flips to the side. I don't know if I need to explain that. Um, it says letter or note would be a better description as it's short. <laughs> But yeah, I still enjoy that. And of course, some more. I really wonder what these are, but they're gorgeous. Gorgeous uh, botanical images. Kitty cat up here. I can see a paper clip holding some goodies together. I will just leave them in there, but I can see some shimmery bits, some craft, uh, not craft paper, but some vellum paper, some notes and some more paper bits. And then over here also a ton, a ton of, ooh, she gave me some of the, yay. Ooh, that makes me happy. Ooh, it actually, why do I keep saying, ooh, this is gonna get annoying. It actually looks like it's a cut apart. And she gave me one, yay. <laughs> I do have to admit, Jane, I was actually thinking of trying to reuse the ones you used on your meal as well, but I'm glad you gave me one because they're very, very pretty. Pretty. Some stickers. I can show you up close now, of course, because this camera automatically focuses. Oh, 
look at that little... Is, th is this too bright? I think it might actually be too bright. This looks like a stamp sheet. Okay, what? Is this too bright? I don't know. I'm still figuring it, figuring it out, especially the new camera. But I can actually look at the little screen that is uh, flipped sideways from the camera. So I can now actually see what the camera is seeing. But I don't know if it's truthful. As in, I don't know if it looks too bright on the screen. If that means that it's actually too bright or if the screen is just too bright. Then we've got a page with some little quotes, I think, I guess. And I keep looking at these. And then this, oh no, oh no, it's a brain twister. Oh, luckily she, she included a brain twister and the answer. You know me well, Jane, you know me well. I'm gonna pour over that at the end. I'm just gonna take the letter out put that into the actual envelope this will go in the folder and hopefully one day i will pull that from the folder and i will apply and the rest of the goodies is of course going in my stash and this one is gonna get a special place <laughs> okay let's put this aside before i move on to the next meal i can show you this postcard which was sent to me by porsche i'm just quickly checking yeah i can show it because there is no return address but it's just glitter glue Oh, but she included some gorgeous kiwi stamps for me. And she said, I just wanted to let you know you are doing an amazing job. Keep shining and growing. You're sincerely Portia. That's so sweet. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that. The next one I grab, which one should we do? This one, I've already opened it. I've already opened it. And it's this fat envelope all the way from Singapore. It's from Minx and look at that gorgeous decoration. Like a little bit of a, a tropical garden. I also love your handwriting. And inside is all of this. I opened this when I received it, which is already, I'm ashamed to admit, months ago. And this is the note on this adorable little paper. Oh, this is not the note. This is a separate note. Where is your letter? I need to put that aside. Ah, there's the letter. Did I not read the letter? Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, I was worried because the washi tape was still on there, but I already peeled it off. First of all, look at this absolutely beautiful handwriting. Not gonna show you the letter, but that I just wanted to share. And this is a separate note that says, I'm so sorry due to the coronavirus, I thought I might not be able to send this letter. And it might take a few weeks, but yeah, as you know, it takes me forever to actually open them, so don't feel guilty. I can tell you for certainty, for certain, for certainty, I can tell you with certainty. <gasps> what? I can tell you with certainty, but I have not looked at the goodies yet. I just, I once again, peeled out the letter. Oh my God, there are some really cool looking things in here. Let's just start with this. We have some little papers. Oh, hey, I think I recognize this. I think I recognize this. Was this in a Your Creative Studio box? I think I might've seen this in an unboxing. That is gorgeous. Look at this, especially it has some uh, foiling on it, like this one as well. Ooh, pretty. I'm gonna flatten them somehow and i will use them in some botanical meal then let's just start with the pile <laughs> i can see oh my god a whole lot of sticky notes or notes we've got a turtle a froggy a beautiful vintage looking one. Oh my god you have so many i'm just gonna <laughs> take you through them without trying to name all of them all of these these. Ooh, this one is my favorite so far. It's uh, a frame. It, that's so silly. Like there's all of these colorful designs and then for some reason the most plain one is my favorite. What is up with my brain? But I just really like it. It has a beautiful kind of bluish color and I like that for address labels. And then these adorable little notes. 
I know someone who's going to love these. <laughs> That's adorable. So all of these, then we've got some postcards it seems. Oh, sleeping kitty. Welcome to Taipei. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Taiwan. Ooh, is that the Petronas Twin Towers? Um, yeah, Petronas Twin Towers. The only reason why I know that is because my dad used to travel to Kuala Lumpur. Oh my God, I lost it there. To Kuala Lumpur for work sometimes. And he would send me pictures of the Petronas Twin Towers. I never ever forgot what they looked like. It's probably the only uh, famous building that I know <laughs> the name of. Mm. So whenever I get a Petronas Twin Towers postcard, I feel proud because I know what they are. We've got these adorable birds and it has a note. This is from at letters underscore from underscore Rachel on Instagram. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. And then we have two more gift bags. Look how bulky that is. It says these are the stickers I've printed for you. I've cut it all to square. You can trim it as the shape you like. Oh my God. Oh my God. How much work you must have put into this. I'm just gonna lay them on the table and speed through that a little bit because there is a lot. Wow. <laughs> and these are all on Sticker, sticker paper so I can actually right away stick them onto something. That is really, really cool. I need to find out a good way to store these. Possibly in a little tin. Let me just put them in this little tin for now. Okay, there, they're not all going to fit. Wow, that must have taken you forever to do. I really, really do like the idea of making my own stickers. I never actually found a sticker printer here, um, sticker paper here in the Netherlands. So if anyone has a golden tip, do let me know. And then the last, I'm actually going to stop this video here, I think, because I think we've already filmed for quite a while. The last envelope then of this video contains ooh, washi tape stickers. Oh, it's like ma matcha, matcha themed. I haven't had matcha in forever. I need to make some. I actually have matcha powder. For those of you that don't know, matcha is a, a very strong green tea powder. It's basically pure green tea in powderized form and you can turn it into desserts or tea or whatever you like. And these are all matcha themed desserts. Absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. The only thing is when I want to make matcha, I don't have one of the whisks that you would typically need for it. So mine is usually lumpy. <laughs> And then you get these really strong flavored lumps, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, this is also a washi tape sticker of a, a lady with gold foiling. Then we've got, some, oh, oops. I forgot you. Some of these little cutouts. I'm going to try and show most of them, but because there's so many to show, I'm trying to also go a little bit quickly because otherwise you're just going to sit here and watch me look at stickers for an hour and I don't know if people would like that but these but that does not mean that I don't enjoy um receiving them I definitely do I'm forever grateful I mean who does not love stickers I just mean that I need to find a balance between showing them all and keeping this video fun to watch these beautiful green washi tapes can you see that oh my god Ah, this one also looks like a green themed food items. Interruption. Interruption. Oh, I love green. And then we have uh, some cards. Oh, that's beautiful. Have a nice day. That's so cute. Flowers blessing. And I was looking at this through the through the packaging and this looks hand I thought it was handmade first what is this actually is this a sticker is 
this a sticker? I think this is actually a huge sticker. Oh my God, it is. This is one large sticker. Look at that. That is the big, how big is this sticker? It's literally paper sized. Because the reason why I was looking at this through the packaging is because look at these different handwritings. Look at that. That font is beautiful. And then here, every tree and bush. And it's all plants, house plants. And I absolutely love that. And then this is, I think, the same. Yeah, this is the same. But wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what this is. It says the Mocard Journal. It's just a really, really large sticker. Very cool. Very cool. I could either use this as a whole, I don't know. I would have to find a very large envelope or cut them out individually. But it's such a pretty, pretty hole. Okay, I'm gonna go because it's getting darker and darker and darker and I want to do some household chores. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed opening all of this. I have once again been spoiled. I know that I am super duper behind still on showing you everything, but I just want to take my time and look at everything and show you everything because I think you will know that this is all so precious. Like the, the, the thoughts that people put into these and the effort and the time and like, for example, these, <laughs> I, I just have it as a little block here now. You guys know that I love botanicals and then to receive a package filled with green botanical things, that just means a lot. So I don't want to rush it and I don't want to, I just, I want to take my time for all of them. So I hope that even though you have to wait for the most recent ones for quite a bit, I hope that it's still okay and still fun to actually look at. That being said, that's it from me. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye.